Uh, I love automation, but at the same time, I'm feeling like the stuff that I need isn't actually being built. Oh, there, industrial efficient. That's good, thank you. Dun, 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 dun. I love it. I, I like this music for some reason. Immediate needs, current operation. Not part of invasion plans. Ottoman Empire next Albania, conquer in Albania, cool. Uh, so, battle plan editor. Victory conditions. Do, 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 do. Uh, strategic effects. The whole commenter and uh, allies and, and uh, axis thing is because it's a World War II game, obviously. Strategic effects. Neutrality. Oh. Mm. We get bonuses. I didn't know that. Current plans. Historical plans. Uh, create new plan. Uh, Norska. From Norska. Återföreningen. The re- Unite, like reuniting Norway, basically. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, 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 mm. I love this border type, medium dashed. Oh wait, how do I undo that? Bum, bum. So, choose border type. I've never really drawn these things, even though I've always had Hearts of Iron 3. Hearts of Iron 3 was after Sviarike, basically my first um, Paradox game back in 2009. Uh, paratrooper landing submarine battleship carrier. Mm -mm. Wait, are these the enemy plans? Wait, what a... Eh. We'll figure it out later. Uh... Like, text sign, lead... Ah. Oh. Alright. That's a thing, right? Thank you. And let's just keep that going. Don't think it's the most beautiful plan, but you know, I tried. <laughs> Mm 
know what? Let's uh, go ahead and just choose a few uh, places to conquer. So long in. And then that port. <sighs> now, production is lower than it should be, but that's because we're in a full civilian economy. Um, uh, so, if we go into Politics. No, no. Strategic warfare. People's army advance. Human wave doctrine. Oh, Ger German Empire. The Agadir crisis, also called the Second Moroccan crisis, as I've said uh, earlier, was the international tension sparked by the development of the German uh, deployment of the German gunboat Panther to the Moroccan port of uh, Agadir on the on July 1st 1911 a rebellion broke out in Morocco against the Sultan by early April 1911 the Sultan was besieged in his palace in Fez and the French prepared to send troops to help put down the rebellion under the pretext of protecting European lives and property the French dispatched the flying column at the end of 1911 on the 5th of June the Spanish occupied blah 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 uh, Franco-German negotiations in initiated on July 9th in 1911 toward the Treaty of Fez uh, led to a convention under which Germany accepted France's position in Morocco uh, in return for the territory of the French equatorial African colony of Middle Congo. So Middle Congo is now part of the f uh, France. And what's interesting about this crisis is that Instead of causing the the split, like uh, Wilhelm II wanted to kind of split, test the Entente, or the du dual alliance between the United Kingdom and the French, and test their boundaries, see uh, to which extent they would uh, be able to help each other, or how they would help each other. And what ended up happening was that... Uh, um, their, the French and British relations got even stronger and uh, Germany got pushed even more into a corner. Uh, so yeah, bad move. Politics, uh, we were looking at, uh, so the Russian Empire is thinking they don't really have any good technology so maybe that's not a good idea but it's great to see that we're stealing some tech. Uh, I'm thinking the U.S. Majors, U.S. Majors, U.S.A. No, not the King Empire. Oh. It's talking about the U.S. of A. Um, tech espionage, thank you. Industrial production advance. Great. I'm thinking neighbors, Norway. Increase the threat. Is it really working? Seven point nine threat. threat. Oh no, that's German. Mutual threat is zero. Oh well. Uh, so, China is having their revolution, which the tra was aimed at deposing the empire, and which actually succeeded and created Nationalist China, or the Republic of China. Um, and they deposed the... He was a very young emperor, probably like the young one of the youngest emperors they've ever had in history, but uh, so yeah, they had that revolt, they won, and then only later uh, on 
1949 did the communists win the civil war against the republic um, so yeah Copenhagen's very well protected do, do, do. what do you need build it Uh, prioritize reinforcement upgrades production. Yeah, prioritize production. Thank you. Uh, oh, we've taken the Automatic deployment. Thank you. So that's kind of automatic. It's just a matter of... Like, I'm automating a lot of stuff because I'm lazy. Um, and because, yeah, I'm lazy. But mostly, we're playing a small nation. We're, we're just going to be mostly watching the war. And, yeah. There's... I don't feel like micromanaging stuff. Now, why is my production not high enough? Come on. Supply production advance. See, look, I don't care about consumer goods. Please stop. You know what? Let's slow down a little bit, okay? Uh, normal control. Prioritize production. Supplies. There, thank you. So, 1912. Do, do. German troop troops there on that province that I can see. It's kind of funny how I can see a few things. But then again, it's it's information that does spread even though I'm not spying. I, I, I am spying on Germany, so yeah. A provisional government of Rock. Provisional government of ROC. British blueprint stolen. Um, cavalry support weapons to level 2. Mm -mm, small arms advance. Light artillery advance. Mm, guerrilla warfare, central planning, delay doctrine, special forces. Uh huh. So we're getting better at that. Uh, still no air stuff around, but totally okay. Treaty of Fez, uh, French Republic, and ex Morocco. I know we're protecting you or the the European citizens of Morocco. That's why we're just gonna take everything. Thank you. Farewell. European power. Sinking of the Titanic. No. Fifteenth of April, uh, nineteen twelve. I mean, it feels like it was yesterday. Uh, I was, uh, we were, the, we had the whole cent centenary memorial of the Titanic thing. But no, that was two years ago, more than two years ago, and I just, I mean, to be honest, uh, I mean, I'm gonna start third year in high school now. Uh, last year, right? Senior is that what it's called in the U.S. or in English in general? Yeah, I, I'm in senior, and ooh, what's this? 
National decisions available. Consolidate power. After months of growing turmoil and public outrage, dissent has nearly torn the nation in half. The king acted swiftly, enforcing a military dictatorship and cracking down on any and all protesters. The people, although still strong, were so terrified that by this new dictator that they ended their revolution in fear of being sent back to labor camps or being shot by the military police. Mm. Gain 5 in descent, lose 18 unity. Uh, social Democrat then gain 30 organization, the type of government changes to fascist republic. Uh, yes. Okay. 16th of May. Dun, 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 dun. That's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, third year of, of high school. Uh, the, it's ever since I left ninth grade, because um, here in Sweden we have to switch between schools, right? And choose new schools, etc., etc. Uh, but, uh, yeah, ever since I left ninth grade, I just feel like time, or even the last year, like from the end of 8th grade to till now, time is just flying by insanely fast, and I've, I remember as as a kid or a you know, young teenager, compla I, I remember myself complaining about time, but um, not, it wasn't, there's, it wasn't like this though. It's even faster, like it's, it's just insane, I don't know. Ah, the descent gives the IC penalties, ah. Cool, we're almost at zero. Politics, social democrats. How come by the communists are larger than the? So oh wait, the social. Oh, there is. The, there are the social democrats. Why are they so large? Damn. This government has no elections. Foreign minister. Pause. Uh, Victoria. Wait, Queen Victoria? <laughs> uh, Chief of Staff. Huh. Honey. Serbia is mobilizing, Greece is mobilizing, so they're mobilizing for. Uh, the first Balkan war or the first Balkan league war against the Ottoman Empire where Bulgaria ends up getting the biggest share and then all the other allies get angry yeah, after the Treaty of London and they kind of fight back and take a little bit more Greece comes out in the upper hand and Serbia ends up not even ever getting the coast that they want because Serbia essentially feels completely landlocked and even after the first incursion they don't get the, their port and they get kind of angry about that uh, and that's mostly actually Austria-Hungary uh, that stopped that negotiate or that deal in the peace process. Uh, Albanian uprising again. Do, do, do. So September 1912 and already time for to end the episode. So I'll see you people later.